Hey everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So today we are continuing the Ricky Gervais series, uh, show, series. This is season two, episode 10. The, the, uh, the, the episode is called, if I could speak, that would be great. The episode is called Leg Rubber. Um, Carl, when was the last time you We'll find out what that is. Well, my mum and dad have been around, haven't they? So, been yeah. reminiscing a lot. Yeah. Um, what were you thinking about? We were just chatting about um, Tic Tacs. <laughs> One of the great memories, yeah. The happy memories. Now, I used to love them Yeah. when I was younger. Yeah. My dad got a load of them. I liked Tic Tacs what, this when year? I was younger. No, just no, recently. years ago. Oh, years ago. Like, okay. years ago when I loved them. I said, I love Tic Tacs, me. Yeah. Yeah. He met one of his mates. He didn't nick him from the sweet shop? No, no. No, that's no he knew did. some yeah. mate who, uh, who could get his hand on a load. Right. And uh, he must have got about he, he must have got about 30 crates of Tic Tacs. 30 crates of Tic Tacs? Honestly, mm. we'd have about 24 on each crate. We got them, stuck them in a cupboard under the, uh, just in the kitchen. Oh, why are they so big? They're like that big. Now, I worked my way through about six crates. It's quite happy. When? How, in how long? I don't know, in about two weeks, three weeks or something. Right. And then uh, after that, I'm getting sick of these. Right, yeah. You were minty fresh, but you are oh, lovely though. fresh breath. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I haven't got that much more to tell you about it. It's just. What just, just this, sorry, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bear in mind, this was something he was recently reminiscing with his parents <laughs> yeah, about. No. They were sat around, and we've already learned up to an hour could go by reminiscing. <laughs> sat around yeah. for an hour <laughs> talking about the, the great I've already run out of saga. responses. I've got yeah. nothing to say about no, that. No opinion. I mean, I was nearly going to say, what do you do with the empty little flicky tic tac boxes? Yeah. And then I mean, you realise that that's utterly dull and boring. Uh, well, and well I, just, I was struggling. I don't know what this hand like is, other than a yeah. bloke. Other than you said your dad, I like tic tacs, me. He went, all right, I talked to. Albert, yeah. Albert, you got Tic Tacs? I've got 30 crates, if that'll do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bring him out. Put him in the cupboard. He's got through 12 crates. What's his breath like? Fucking lovely, but he's been sick all over the cunting place. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want some more? No, of course we fucking don't. You'll talk about that in a few <laughs> years' time. <laughs> he's talking so fast, and when she said, she said, no, it sounded like a goat, and in my head, I just died a little bit of humor. Um, I wonder if they still had all the flavors when he was a kid. When I was a kid, that was the closest thing I was allowed to get to candy. My parents didn't let us uh, really get candy much at all. But those orange Tic Tacs, when I was young, were my Skittles. But even those I only got once every couple of months. The cupboard. Anyway. He's got through 12 crates. What's his breast like? Fucking lovely, but he's been sick all over the cunting place. Oh, do you want some more? No, of course we fucking don't. You'll talk about that in a few years' time. Of course we will for about a fucking hour. No. And then we bring it up on an audio book. But that's, I think that's how we got onto it. Because even though I, tr I tried to get rid of a load, I used to give them to mates, take them to school, say, have some Tic Tacs. Yeah. Have them for free. <laughs> we used a load in the so. cat litter tray. <laughs> no. No, well, we you did. didn't. We did. It no, was just didn't. ways of getting rid of them. Jesus Christ! Sort of freshy, sort of freshy smell, isn't it? Well, That's it's the same amazing. sort of condensity in that, isn't it? Condensity is the same condensity. Um, same condensity. Yeah, so I got rid of them like that. And then uh, the weird thing was, even though I'd got shut of them all, um, you'd be backing up and you'd always hear one ting its way up the tube. <laughs> <laughs> it's tinging its way up the tube. It's tinging its way up the tube. It's tinging its way up the tube. <laughs> Ding tong, ping pong. It's tinging its way up the tube. <laughs> That sounds like something from Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh yeah. god! No, it's just I'm just demonstrating that because that's how many of them there were around the house. You'd drop mm. them, they'd go in every corner and that, like that or something. Like, they'd be everywhere. You'd be back there, tinging it. Up. Sheila's getting married. Hannah gets confetti. Don't buy any confetti. Go to cupboard under stairs. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's a little memory there, isn't it? It that is a little memory. No, it's, it's a the, really the, little memory. The, the strange Tic Tac house in yeah. Salford, where everything is made of Tic Tacs. Wow, that must have been a hell of That's a incredible. hell of a time you had with your parents there oh. and the old Tic Tac remnants. No, but it's better. You see, you're you're saying, oh, what a boring story that is. Yeah. But when yeah. when we made that, we grappled the drive. Yeah, smell it. <laughs> suck suck the drive if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's different. When my mum and dad are there and they can remember that and they're going, oh yeah, yeah, the Tic Tac incidents and stuff. <laughs> What's known as the Tic Tac incident? <laughs> the Tic Tac Let, incident. Let us never speak of the Tic Tac incident. <laughs> I just imagine the clock ticking. There, it's Christmas Day. I go, what are you smiling at? Oh, I remember it used to ting up the tube. <laughs> <laughs> you should think about sending this to Hollywood. Listen, what do you remember then? <laughs> what, what do, do you I remember? remember? That's wow. an amazing thing to That's say. That's a difficult question to answer. Yeah, I don't. Nothing. Nothing at all.
Carl, I know you like to be kept abreast of all the latest breaking science news. Did you read recently about the blind mice that they have been able to make see again? And um, really? hopefully, they're, they're, whatever they did, which allowed these mice to be able to see again, they're hoping to be able to do with humans in maybe about 10 years' time, or at least begin tests. <laughs> Extraordinary, isn't it, to be able to... I mean, to be able to cure blindness would be a remarkable it, achievement in science. It yeah. is, but it's just that thing how they say they've done it on mice. It's kind of colour yeah. blindness thing. No. If I was blind and I went in for the meeting with mm. the doctor, yeah. and they said, do you want yours doing? And then they said, like, mm. I've done it on mice, that wouldn't be good enough for me. <laughs> I'd say, look, when the blind fella gets in, don't say we've done it on mice, just say we've done this on eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Because what eyes? You say just a pair of eyes. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you say mouse's eyes, it's like, well, it's, it's not the same. And yeah. it sort of, it would make me go, I'll leave it. Yeah. yeah. And then you, you, you wake up and you can see, but you've got very tiny eyes right in the... Uh, the you've put in mice <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I'm scared of cats. It's just eyes. I think I just don't like having my eyes messed with. And even if it was blind, you know, I just, I, I wouldn't like it. Right. Uh... And I think mine are more active than most, my eyes. What do you mean? <laughs> um, well, I went for a what's-her-name, Steve. You don't know. I, I've, I've had uh, problems with my legs. Oh, no. Christ almighty. He's the same... What are you, 33? He's a hypochondriac. And you talk like you're a 70 year old Honestly, man. the slightest thing, he's got time off work for this. He went to the dentist three Ow. times in one week. He goes, now his legs Ow. rubbed two times a week for no, some I reason. I don't. I don't. In and out of the kidney hospital, and they're going, there's no kidney stone, Mr Pilton. He's going, oh, right. Christ no. almighty, do some fucking work. No, the thing is, I've been in the last... Like, I, I want to pause just to ask uh, your opinions. Something that uh, I became aware of within the last year is apparently like a lot of people my in my age group, I'm in my 30s, a lot of people in that bracket, I don't know if it's half, more than half, less than half, I don't know. I've just talked to a lot of people and the vast majority of them, like myself, notice things that are off that seem unusual, something new, some kind of new ailment. A lot of it goes away after a while and maybe we never find out what it is. Anyway, all of that to say, based on conversations I've had, I feel like people are more likely to be hypochondriacs in their 30s because you're coming out of your 20s when you feel just alive and invincible and you have all this energy, maybe, depending on the person. And then in your 30s, you start to feel things uh, like my back's still messed up. It's been messed up since February, and which you all don't care about. But it's just there are these things that you might notice your knee, your shoulder, your joints, your whatever it is. And Ricky saying Carl was a hypochondriac made me think of that. So I was going to ask uh, about you all's experiences if that fits you when you were in your 30s or people you know because I'm curious if it's a you know what I mean how how common it is as well as are there any cultural variations or um, based on geographic variations of that anyway, sorry uh, Christ um, almighty do some fucking work no the thing is I've been in the last like 30 odd years I've been working hard and I've let my body get run down a bit. How have you... Like, you're 30... What are you? 30... 33. Right, uh, 33. Sorry to start off with such a hard question. But <laughs> how have you been working for 30 years? Well, I just have. I sort of... Uh, I got on with it. At three? <laughs> at three? No, I'm well, just Well, you didn't saying. get on with anything at school, did you? Because you were just <laughs> pitting about. Yeah. You weren't working yeah. out there. What was the first job you got? How old were you? Uh, I was 15. Right, OK, so you've been working for 15 years then. OK, good, Yeah, but right. I had my paper round when I was 10, didn't I? And that was, that was hard graft. That's why I'm bald and that, getting up at half four. Oh, I don't really care. It all adds up, doesn't it? All adds up. That's so anyway, uh, mm. I kicked me height when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> he always says this, eh? Like, it's a classic story that everyone should know. Everyone knows, and also right. the phrase, kicking my own height. Yeah. No, Explain so. what you mean. Just kicked me out when I was when I was kick a kid. Your, no up. one understands. You Carl. kicked your leg up to I the height like, that you were you, at that time. Yeah, you get taller. Yeah. So I kicked you were, my height. It's not a well-known phrase. You can't just go. I kicked me out. So you were so you were four and a half foot, and you've put your toe up into the air four and a half feet by kicking. Uh, yeah, but I, I landed on my back. 
Right, OK. Well, imagine <laughs> seeing that in the playground. They go, get Carl Pilkington to kick his eye. I bet he falls over like a fucking penguin. He wasn't penguin. in the playground. <laughs> My dad got me to do it in the garden. Brilliant. <laughs> so why, why did he you fall over? They tickets, the neighbours were cracking <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. Why did you fall over? Did, did, you, did you hit I yourself in the I head? I didn't have to kick the eye. I mean, my leg got high up, but I was that chuffed that I got that high, I didn't think of putting my leg down again. <laughs> 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 what like, what the fuck did that look like? <laughs> he's got to think it all through. I thought it was automatic. <laughs> no. like, he stayed there. You, you sort of stay oh, balanced. Christ But you didn't whiny. think, well, I'm loving this. This is brilliant, but I, what should I do now? I, <laughs> I got my leg up. I'll just keep yeah. it up. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get hit the salute with his leg. What? what were you doing? So anyway, I landed on my back. Yeah. And, it just uh, doesn't even... And I did some damage, I think. Yeah, and it's because definitely. of that. You sure you didn't land on your head? And it's because of that, like, all like, all them years and what have you, yeah. I've had, like, a trapped nerve in my leg. Right. So I thought, right, now's the time to have it done. Because when you get older... I mean, it was the kidney stone thing. Once you've seen... Once you've sort of looked at, you know, death and what have you, mm. uh, it just makes you think, got to start looking after your body. Do you think you could die of the, the uh, mm. slightly bad leg that you've had for 15 years? <laughs> Well, you just... think that'll eventually kill you? <laughs> well, well, it could do if I can't run away from danger quick enough. Right. Again, you're thinking of <laughs> Jurassic Park coming true. Well, whatever then. I'm just saying you've yeah. got to look after yourself. You know, if there's anyone listening you could always there, hop. Who's, who's got a problem, get it sorted. I'll tell you I'll what, though. It. If you have to fight off danger and you kick them, put the leg back down immediately <laughs> after. <laughs> so anyway, so I went to see this fella to, uh, like, a professional uh, leg rubber. Uh, leg professional rubber? leg rubber, yeah. And leg he's... Rubber. Uh, he sort of said uh, a few things that were quite interesting. Mm. Remember that time when we had a chat on the last lot of like podcasts? I said, "Am I in charge of my brain, or is my brain in charge of me?" Yeah, do you remember what I said? That's the most stupid thing you've ever said. Yeah, well, well, listen to this then. So oh. I go and see this leg rubber, professional leg rubber, yeah, right, and he is professional. <laughs> yeah, right. Remember, <laughs> leg rubber. You haven't said doctor at any yeah. point in this conversation. He's a leg rubber. So, so this, this, whatever, however profound this is, it came from a man who is self-confessed professionally leg rubbing. Not just leg. Does he, he do back, left and right? Or I don't back think I would go well. there. He does it all. Right, right. right. So I'm in there, rubber. and I didn't mention about how I thought my brain was, <laughs> you know, was in charge of me and stuff. Uh, I'm lying there, he's bending me about and what have you. Mm. The first problem he came across is that my nerves aren't long enough for right. my body. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my nerves aren't long enough for your body. He yeah. was lifting my legs up and I was going, right, don't, whoa, stop that a minute, that's certain that. He's like, what do you mean? He said, I've only got them like, like just about... Well, that's your tendons. No, no, but your nerves are in your legs as well. And your tendons don't hurt, it's your nerves that kick in. It's your nerves that make you well, go yeah, but they hurt because your tendons are being overstretched. Well, I'm just and... telling you what he said. Right, so so he lifted the leg up, and I went right. Was this above a laundrette? This surgery? <laughs> no, it's a proper place. He had like towels and all that. On oh, okay. oh, he's got towels. Oh, there. okay, yeah. yeah. So um, definitely a laundrette. So so I'm lying there. <laughs> Other people's towels. <laughs> he's got uh, towels. Halfway through, he's, pants, yeah, bras. Yeah, halfway through, he said, "You haven't got twenty p. Have you for the dryer?" <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm lying there, and he lifts the leg up, yeah. and I'm like, "Oh, that hurts a lot." Mm. So he said, "Oh yeah, short nerves." And I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "You, you know, you're you're outside of the body." Is longer than your inside. Right, he doesn't sound like a doctor. He does not sound like the a doctor. The outside of your body's yeah. longer than the inside. <laughs> so he, he he had me lying on my front and what have you, and he was sort of crushing me back. Right. And he was going, does that hurt? I said, yeah. It was like 48 quid, this as well. Mm -hmm. Putting me through all this pain and what have you. Well, you got some good advice, though. He said, you're pretty stressed. And I said, yeah. So it's, you know, I've, I've quite a bit of stress in my life. And I explained to him about the kidney stones and that. I said, oh, you know, that, that's... That he probably, went, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> he probably said that. He said that's where you were probably got a lot of tenseness. A lot like, of tenseness. Mm. Is that the phrase he used as yeah, a trained no, professional a, rubber? He's a, a doctor. He's definitely a doctor. So anyway, yeah. he said, do you relax much? You, you know, haven't you... got any Lenore, have you? <laughs> I want these sheets to come out nice, nice and soft. <laughs> he said, do you, uh, you know, you should learn to meditate or something. He said, because you, you know... You, you're all tensed up. Mm. We're living in a stressful world, as I tell me mm. about it. So when I was telling him that I have problems it's a good point relaxing, about the stones mm. causing he him said, to "Oh, tense. he said that you're obviously the sort of person who's, oh, who's colourful enough to spend forty-six quid for this oh, hokum." He said, "You're the sort of person whose brain is in charge of them." Rather than them being in charge of the So brain. all you did was you met a person as stupid as you. <laughs> yeah. No, but I thought it's interesting that he's he, this is what he does for a living. Yeah. And he picked up that was the first visit. That's the first I'd only been there about twenty two minutes. Yeah. You get half an hour for forty eight quid. Right. But uh he he picked up on that yeah. within like 
15 minutes. No, he saw it right minutes. fucking soccer coming. No, he did pick up on that, yeah. Okay, but anyway, don't, the reason... Don't go to him again. The reason, uh, well, I am doing I've got locked into it. I've got to go at least another three times Why? and try what to get out of it. I don't know. I didn't realise that you have to have a minimum discount. amount of things. Mm. So what I'm saying I can't is, wait. What's the wisdom he's going to come up with next week? That would be brilliant. I will kind of... Yeah. No, but what I'm saying Your is... Your blood's paranoid. <laughs> we were talking... You've got jealous bones. <laughs> You're the sort of person whose stomach's hungrier than you. <laughs> what absolute fucking nonsense. Yeah. Do you know like how we were talking about eyes, weren't we? He said, uh, he said the thing is, you know, you've got to be able to relax and uh, the way to do it is to focus, right? He said, mm. uh, so what do you mean? He said, when you go to sleep... You're the sort of person whose eyes can see further than you can. <laughs> he said, when you go to sleep... Uh, Close your eyes. And see <laughs> <laughs> Instead of just leaving but, them open staring at the ceiling. Carl, keep breathing. <laughs> yeah, keep breathing. Close your eyes. You're not dead. It may seem like it, but you're not. You're just asleep. So he said, uh, "Oh fuck me!" He said, "He said what you've got to do when you go to sleep: focus on your toe." Right? <laughs> okay. He said, "Just think about oh, nothing else." He, I said, "He's a witch." <laughs> did he? Did, did he say you to put a toad under the bed? No, he just said, "Focus on the toe and mm. uh, see how you go on and what have you." Next time you come in, let me know. Anyway, I gave this a go, focusing on the toe. Uh, so what does this mean? You mean you sat in bed staring at your toes? No, this is it. He, he said, like, lie Visualize down, shut it. your eyes and, and sort of look at it sort of thing. So I was lying there and it just wasn't working because... Oh, Carl, this isn't medicine. Because I was... You were, even though you were thinking eyes, of a finger. Well, no, it, well, <laughs> He found out he was thinking of someone else's toe. Yeah. Next it day someone work. called up and said, Carl, yeah. my toe's better. Yeah. No, the problem was I was still using my eyes even though I had them shut. <laughs> You were still oh, your face yeah, even though yeah. shot. What does that mean? I was straining them. <laughs> I had them shut, but I was sort of looking down at me. You were trying to see through your eyelids at your toe. Well, I was, oh, I was looking down, so I'm thinking that's where the foot is. We're looking out of the, because of that, I was crack. straining them. They yeah. were stinging, so I had to pack it in. I know what he's saying. I'm going to die. I am going to die. Why, out of interest though, and this is this will sound naive, why don't we remember <laughs> the very early moments of our lives? Why, why is it, is it, is it because it would be too harrowing to remember the point at which we uh, sort of born? Because I don't really remember anything from those first few years. Why, why is it? Is it just because the brain's not fully formed at that moment? Uh, I don't know. The memory's not sufficiently uh, I, developed? I, I, I honestly it's got to be trauma, on it? It's the things, again, we were talking about me being younger, and the youngest I could remember back to was 1978. How old were you then? Uh, when were you born? 72. What, you, can only, you couldn't remember earlier than six? Really? Uh, you can remember back to about two or three, most people. What, no, you... no way. Yeah. No way. Like, bits My mum and dad don't even yeah. remember me then. <laughs> Hold on, I almost spoke over him again. I am so sorry. Getting, if, you, uh, if I'm moving around a lot and distracting, it's because I've gotten really tired. Because I haven't really sat down. The last few weeks, uh, it's been like, it's hard to get more than two to five minutes alone and quiet. And so I've now been setting off and on for about an hour recording reactions. And so uh, the tiredness has caught up. And so I'm just moving, trying to, uh, you know, not fall asleep on, on the reaction. I did that once on a reaction where I was like this during the reaction and I felt so bad. So I'm staying awake, I'm recording because I don't know when I'll get to record again. Um, but I apologize for all the wiggling around. No, no way, no way. My mum and dad don't even remember me then. <laughs> <laughs> you're not doing don't anything. Remember him. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> Even remember me yeah, that's uh, amazing. Because oh, they, 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 they pinpoint they things. All the tic tacs they never yeah, yeah. Do you remember when Carl was uh, six? Of course I do. Five? <laughs> yeah. Four? <laughs> yeah. Three? No. <laughs> Two? No. Because you're not doing anything, are you? <laughs> me, mum, and dad don't even <laughs> remember so, me then. And, and it's oh, weird. I remember, I, must have been about two, sitting on a potty surrounded by Lego. I remember that. Very st strong image I have of that. No. 
I don't remember that. No, you no, remember no, that. No, no, you, no, you, you know, went there. there. What, you? what do you mean? What, you don't remember Steve sitting on a potty <laughs> surrounded by Lego? No, I mean, I can't <laughs> remember having a potty. I remember having well, one you know, of them. I'm not suggesting no, you have the same memory. You used to go in a fucking litter tray. Now I know why to eat a Tic Tac while you're having a shit. But, OK, um, so what is your very first memory? The one that cropped up the other day was having my eyes sort of uh, glued together by... Um, <laughs> Gangsters, <laughs> where's the fucking tic tacs? <laughs> no, I we was... lost our truck for you. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I was on holiday and I slept near the window, and the window was open, and I used to wake up in the morning with my eyes shut. My mum and dad thought I was having a lovely lie in. I just couldn't open my eyes. But more, I don't understand. Why were they? Why were they glued? Why were they? What do you mean they were glued? But why didn't you say, Mum, Dad, I'm not asleep. My eyes are glued together. <laughs> it's just you get a build up on yeah. the on the eyelashes. Yeah, yeah. And it all. It... <laughs> when they came in, and you could sense them looking. I didn't know at they you. were there. <laughs> <laughs> I went to what's the name? Mm -hmm. Harley Street. I went for a, a checkup. Mm. And uh, like a medical. Mm. Posh, you know, Harley Street. It's like yeah. it's the top doctors, isn't it? I've never yeah. been before. Yeah. All posh buildings. Top and doctors. I uh, went up to the counter. I said, uh, I see the doctor. They said, name, yeah. Right. It was 10 minutes. Go and wait in the waiting room. Dead posh, posh. waiting room. What Dead is fancy. A posh doctor? Big leather furniture and that. Yep. Loads of magazines. Just to clarify, he said posh doctor. Does that mean like the office, uh, like the waiting room is fancy? I'm, I'm, I live in the United States, so I don't ever heard posh doctor. Oh no, I just. I mean, like a, like a news agent yep. in the middle of the room is on the a table. Doctor better loads of them. Too? So I'm looking through, and there's the you know there's the top quality ones. You're Esquire, you know GQ. Classy yacht weekly, uh, all that country life, uh, boys, boys, it's one there, yeah, boys. What's that? Right, lifted up like the one on top of it, and it's like Is boys it like with a Z. Girl? Two fellas stood there looking, uh, sort of Italian looking. Oh, uh, yeah, right, dungarees on, uh, no shirt though, no shirt, just dungarees sort of unbuttoned, hanging down a little bit, sure. Was that so no one else is about. I'm never going to buy a magazine like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you're going to tell us you looked through a couple of magazines. I had, I had a little little look just because I thought, you know, like I say, you, it's one chance. You're always chance. looking to learn, aren't you? You're always looking to learn. Yeah. Always open. You yeah, know, there might have been something in there that office? I go, right, I get it now. I understand why, why they like doing that or whatever. Yeah. All right. So uh, she said I was going to, you know, 10 minute wait. I can, I can have a quick flick through. Mm. Picked it up, had a look. Um, still none the wiser. Why? Well, what did you see when you opened it up? Um, just loads of, uh... I mean, like I've said to you before about, I don't know why they like looking at knobs when they've got one of their own. <laughs> right. There's no right. surprises there. You're not going to go, oh, that's Sure, that's yeah. Nice. yeah. Some had, like, car oil on the face. Uh, <laughs> not about. Yeah. There was someone sat on, um, like, a, a, one of them square things of hay. Oh, yeah. Sat the there, like, sort of sat on it, straddling it. Yeah. That must have been uncomfortable. Uh, again, knob out. Yeah, yeah, just looking, just looking like it's normal. Hey, is That's really crazy. No, no farmer walks around like that. And what was pokey. the other one? There was a, uh, you know, motorbike. Ow. They always like them. Yeah. No, I'm going through, and and then like the content is all puns. Right. It, it it all everything was to do with knob. Right. That's the only <laughs> bit they're interested in. Look in the these, male body. Look at look at this bloke driving this huge throbbing thing. The bike's not bad either. Yeah, yeah all that. Yeah. Loads of them. Uh, it was just, uh, uh, just all, just, just cock. Just hundred percent. Like let's let's just talk about the knob. That's a yeah. good name for a, a, a gay magazine. Hundred percent cock. Hundred percent cock. Did it not at any <laughs> moment sort of maybe slightly under you that you might the doctor might come in and see you reading boys? No, because I or wasn't. What about if I walked through? Because I remember once when you were in hospital about to have um, a tube going down your knob and you were sitting in your pants with stockings on and I walked through and you were horrified. So what if I'd have walked in then and went, yeah, Carl, what are you doing? I would have just said, look at this. Look at this, it's free. <laughs> and, I, and, you, and I said, why did you bring that with you? No, I would have just said, look, does it look like I brought it with me? Look yeah, yes, it does, because well, so I would at... never see, you would never see a gay magazine in a doctor's waiting room. So I think you bought that yeah, and then and pretended that it was that's, there. That's or... the thing. That's I was amazed by that. Because there was that no, like, odd. you know, there was no Mayfair or anything. They just catered for, like, if you wanted a bit of knob action. <laughs> 
it was really, I mean, really, I could have complained. Sure. So if you're going to have this, where's a bit of the other? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. You had a bit of this, where's a bit of the other? I know one of the things that, that they had, and I thought, they're they really struggling with like, ideas. They had a Sococo. <laughs> As in Sudoku? Yeah. Sococo. Sococo. Surely, surely Sudoku is better. No, because it was like Sococo. Yeah, but it's dick as well. Sudoku. Oh, I get it. Yeah. What, and it's, it was still a Sudoku style puzzle, but yeah, it just had that name. Yeah, yeah. It's just so everything. Not, it it's was all... just Sudoku, but called Sococo. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Now, that... if, I, if I was gay, do you know, like. Let's you have say... a game of Lubo. <laughs> Let's have a game of Nobopoly. Nobberation. Nobberation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's have a game of chess. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> he does not look amused. Uh, let's have a game of fuckaroo. <laughs> <laughs> well, that works for either sex. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's how we spend our okay, Christmases. Fuck a poo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> What a name. Oh, goodness gracious. I always, every time the show ends, it ends up surprising me. Even though I know the ending is coming, it still catches me off guard because it might be the way that they end it. Because it just shows them having a conversation. Maybe we're having a laugh and then dun, 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 or however it goes. I don't know. I'm really sorry that I got tired halfway through that and probably was not uh, speaking as much. That was a good episode. I have not watched an episode yet from them that I have not enjoyed. And really quickly before you leave, tell me what Ricky Gervais stand-up special to watch next. I just watched through his special called Fame and I uploaded it in like five different sections, I think. And I want to start watching another stand-up special from him. And there's been tons of suggestions. But if you see one that you were going to leave, just give it a thumbs up. Because that'll show me kind of where um, where interest kind of lines up a little bit more. So anyway, I enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.